Hey y'all. Yep. I'm baking a pie today. I'm making the meatloaf today. Um, I may do the carrots and the potatoes today, but I'm not sure. The meatloaf won't get eaten until tomorrow. I love meatloaf the next day. For some reason, it, to me, it just tastes better. But I'm going to show you how I do my meatloaf normally. Uh, I've done it this way for years, and it hasn't killed anybody yet. So, um, can y'all see? There's my pound of ground beef. And now what I'm going to put in there is about, uh, that's a half of a green pepper that I chopped up and um, two little cloves of garlic. So that's going in there. Let me see. And we're going to do some Ritz crackers. Man, oh man, y'all, my little container, it is really keeping these things good. So I just put them in a little Ziploc bag, and I'm just going to kind of beat on them a little bit. Get your brushing out here. Not too pulverized, but... So I'm going to add most of these in here. One eggy. I know some of y'all are going, Ew, you put an egg in your meatloaf? Yes, I do. Okay, now for spices, I'm going to put a little bit of dried mustard. I'm going to use onion powder, y'all, because these holes are little, little in case you're wondering. Um, I didn't have an onion. Here's some pepper. And we'll grind a little bit of salt. Not too awful much. Okay. And I'm going to put just a teensy bit of Italian flavoring in there. Now, you'll notice I've only got, I don't know, about one and a half holes uncovered. Okay. I think things go crazy when... Uh, People start adding stuff, and they don't realize how it's going to be. Now, the cool thing about this is, y'all, I get to use Max. So, we're going to put our um, paddle attachment. Let me see. I want to show y'all what this looks like. Can y'all see what that looks like in there? Oh, gross, huh? Especially the egg. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to add is the last of this little ketchup bottle. And that is going to be about perfect. Rinse that out, it'll go to the recycle. Now let's see how this does. I wish y'all could see down in this in this bowl, but I, you just can't. I'm going to start out slow so I'm not having to get bell pepper and garlic off my ceiling. And y'all, I just, I've never used like measurements for something like this. I don't know, I just kind of eyeball it, how it looks. Does it look okay? Does it look too thick? Now, you can see what that looks like in there. And um, I'm going to get my wooden spoon and just give it a little Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. So, I'm only going to make a few of my little cups over here. I'm going to mix that just for a second longer. And I've got my little cups over here. 
I reserved some bell pepper to put on top of the loaf pan. I've got my loaf pan with a little bit of olive oil in it. And this is a small loaf pan, y'all. Um, you know, it's uh, the one that I picked up at the dollar store. You know what? I'm just going to add the rest. There's not very many crumbs left. So I might as well put those in there because my mixture actually is uh, pretty, you know, it's, it's not dry, moist. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, now I just want to get this off of here. Come on. I don't know, y'all. Meatloaf is one of the few, like, meats that, you know, I'll eat, really. I don't like messing with it, but, okay, there we go. All right, now, Max, hold on just a second. Let's go ahead and take your thingy off so we can put it in some hot water. There we go. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill a couple of my little cupcake thingies. Y'all, I'm really excited to do this, Max. You're going to have to move, sweetie. Yeah, there you go. Now, let's see. I'm thinking that maybe, I don't know, half full, something like that. There's a peach one. I'm not a peach person. Okay, so I've got my scoop. This is my bigger one. And we'll just see what happens here. Now, this is a generous scoop, y'all. Maybe I better take just a little bit out of there. I have no idea how this is going to work, y'all. No idea. <laughs> I remember the older ladies, you know, that's, that's the way they talked. I ain't got no ID, Thelma. When do you think the men folk are going to be out of the field? I ain't got no ID. Well, we better get the vittles on because y'all know how nasty and testy these men can get when they ain't got nothing in their gut. Can y'all believe? Oops. <laughs> Well, I knew I wasn't going to get by without some kind of little mess. But that's just the way, I mean, you know, that's the way they talked. And they referred to the men as their men folk. So, um, which one of y'all need? You need a little more right there. Okay. Now, of course, my hands are clean, y'all. I'm just going to kind of Squish that down in there a little bit. So, how many of y'all think that this is going to be... Oh, you can't even see. How many of y'all think that this is going to be a total washout? Like, this is going to be terrible. Terrible idea. Well, it could be. But you never know until you try it, right? Right. I'll just answer for you. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do to these right here. Now, let me wash my hands a little bit. Okay. Now, let me see. I'm going to shake up this big noose in the kitchen. Oh, dang. Y'all ever think things are getting heavier and heavier? I'm telling you, they are. Harder to open, 
heavier, harder to carry. Okay, now all I did is just put a little squirt of ketchup on there on each one of those. Now y'all, I preheated my oven before I started my meatloaf because I'm telling you, I wanted to make sure. All righty then. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little pan. Look out, Miss Baby Hazel. You can look out. I know, I know, if I was better prepared. It's okay, Miss Hazel, I understand. But you know, this is your mama you're talking about. Okay. So I've got this little pan and I am definitely gonna put some heavy duty tin foil in here. Because I am not in to clean up a great big mess. Now I hope all of those will fit in here. If they're a little squished, I don't care. Aw look! Isn't that cute? Baby meatloaves. Oh, they're lovely, don't y'all think? They almost look like cupcakes with ketchup. I wonder if they make ketchup cupcakes. Okay, now then, the rest of this is going to go into my pan, and I tell you. I've decided, stand up there, I've decided that uh, this olive oil, most of it, is going to come out, and I'm going to line this, too, with tin foil. These cheaper pans, they are not uh, Teflon or anything, and boy, oh boy, getting something out of there. Now I'm going to have two layers of this in here. And it doesn't have to keep it, you know, squeaky clean. It just has to keep it from having any of those juices that are going to boil over in there. I like the last little bit of cooking time. I like to take my, um, I take any covering off because I like the top of my meatloaf to be kind of crunchy. Well, you've seen how I like my sausage, okay? And when I showed those to Terry the other day, he goes, Good, you cooked them good, Debbie. He's such a character, y'all. Okay, so now I'm just going to put the rest of this uh, meatloaf mixture here in this little pan. I can't wait to see how my little guys turn out, y'all. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do that for a while. The reason I'm doing so much today is because tomorrow I want to get out in the yard all day. And it's much easier if you do stuff all at once and you just have one mess to fix. Oh, I thought y'all were watching that. Okay, so I've got my meat mixture patted down in there. And then I'm just going to take a little piece, or a few little pieces, of my bell pepper. And I'm slicing it pretty thick. Now, when this is done, it should crisp up on the top pretty good. I'm hoping. So, I'm going to put a little um, squirt of ketchup down here. And just kind of smooth that over. 
and it will get more towards the end of the cooking cycle for sure for sure okay y'all now i'm just gonna put these who was it was it uh nothing edited edited made this crazy looking delicious meatloaf and let me tell you what she had on top of hers oh yeah bacon bacon and what do i have on top of mine green pepper kind of sad ain't it not as sad as that okay y'all so now my pie has been in the refrigerator for gosh i don't know a couple hours maybe so now my little meatloafs I'm not sure about those little cups because I know they're going to cook a lot faster. So I'm going to have to keep a close eye on them. And I put a sheet of tin foil on the bottom rack because I just, I hate to clean the oven, y'all. Not as bad as I hate to clean the refrigerator. But y'all, that's just kind of how I do my um, meatloaf unless i make a great big one and i make it in the bunt pan you put half your mixture in there you put some green beans or corn or whatever kind of vegetable you want in the middle not carrots unless they're cooked and then you put the rest of it on there and you kind of smush it down and you cook it and when it's done you drain it good then you flip it off on a platter it's so cool to take a big knife and cut slices into that bunt pan meatloaf. Y'all should try that sometime. It's fun. I love it. The kids loved it. Anyway, yeah, not me. Not me. Not at all. And especially when you put a bunch of mashed potatoes in that hollow part. You know what I'm saying? You know what we call that? Volcano meatloaf. <laughs> okay y'all i'm gonna let you go and um i'll show you what happens when they're done talk to you later bye now